Hey, what's up guys, Mitch HD here, and I have the future releases for JC Wings, InFlight, and JetX. Before I get into this video, um, I just want to say that in the next week I should have three new videos uploaded, which I think they will be, I, they haven't been delivered yet, um, and I'm not completely sure which ones they are, but it should be the Etihad 787, Singapore A380, and the Singapore 747 Tropical. And then I should be getting within the next two weeks the remainder of the other three models, which are ANA 787-9, Scoot 787, and there's one more I can't remember, and also the Virgin Australia's 777-300ER and the um, FedEx N MD-11. So there's quite a few models on the way. Um, also... Oh, about four or five hours ago, Gemini Jets posted a statement on their Facebook page saying that uh, they've confirmed 20 new models for their um, May releases. 12 of them are 1 to 400 scale and 8 are 1 to 200 scale. But anyway, let's get into this video. So we'll start here with the only Jet X future release, which is the KLM 747-400 City of Atlanta. The registration is PHBFA. It's a very cool model. You can expect it around the 1st of June. Then we'll move on to the in-flight models. And we'll start here with the United States Air Force 747-200 or the VC-25A. Registration 28,000. It's a very good looking aircraft. I think I might get it. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you want to see me do a review on this model it is a very very nice model then there's this the same one here um, as you know they have two of them and this one is uh, registered as 29,000 then there is the Air China 747-400 registration B2472 and I think I might get this one as well. There was another release of this um, a while back. I was going to get it, but I wasn't sure at the time. But if you guys, um, again, want to see me do a review of this one, then uh, you know, please tell me, and uh, I'll consider it. And I think I, I should do it because uh, I really want an Air China 747, and I'll, I'll get it, be getting the Dash 8, but I was um, thinking about getting a 400. Then we have the KLM 747-400, City of Hong Kong, and the 95 years livery. Uh, very good looking model. I haven't got um, old the old KLM livery, or this KLM livery, um, except for the MD-11. I, I want one on the 747. I am getting the JC Wings version, um, which is in their new livery. But I'm not sure if I should get their older livery. And then we move on to the JC Wings models. This one I will definitely be getting no matter what. It is the Qantas 747 the Wunala Dreaming livery with the Rolls Royce engines. Registration VHOJB. It's a very cool model. That's a picture. It looks like um, Hong Kong. And there it is there. A very beautiful model indeed so I'll definitely be getting that one um, I don't think I'll be getting the GE one because the, the same model except this has GE engines and the engines are not painted uh, registration for this one is different it is VHOEJ and I think the one with the Rolls Royce engines is no longer in the fleet and this one is no longer painted in this livery it's uh, in, in the um, I th think it's in the 20, 2014 FIFA World Cup, um, like Australia, like Socceroos, um, livery, which is their national football team or soccer team. And there is this one, same registration as the one with the GE engines. This is just in the all red colours. And there we go. So uh, that's all, all the models of uh, this uh, future release video. Um, I'll definitely be getting this one, as I said before. 
but also tell me if you would like to see me get the um this all red one here or maybe even this one with the GE engines and also the Air China 747400 the um, United States Air Force 747-200 and the uh, or possibly the KLM 747-400 I'd like to hear your opinions on those and um, if you want to see me do a review on them so uh, as always um, please like this video if you enjoyed please share so if people can know about these future releases uh, comment as I've said multiple times and subscribe for more as you heard at this other video, there's a lot on the way. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.